the thrill of speed, and the rush of adrenaline. These are just a few of the things that draw students to Berkeley Formula Racing. This is not your average student organization. It's a community of dedicated and passionate individuals who share a love of motorsports. My name is Henry Morse. I joined Berkeley Formula Racing in my freshman year, which was uh, fall 2019. I am the lead driver here, and I have been on our business subsystem as well the whole time. I also uh, involve myself as much as I can in our electronics and driver interface design. Uh, obviously that matters a lot to me as a driver, and it doesn't matter how good of a race car you make, if the driver doesn't feel comfortable using it and interacting with it, then it won't work. So try and uh, optimize that the best I can. My name is Hugo. I'm a third year mechanical engineering student and uh, I am on the chassis subsystem and uh, I'm also assi assistant technical director to the team. I've always, I've always loved cars. I mean, my family's into cars. Um, I've, I've been working on cars since I was probably 13. Um, I was great with my hands, so, you know, mech -y. And uh, when I found out about this club, the fact that we build a race car, you know, ourselves, that was, that was it for me. Like, I, I knew I had, to, I had to be a part of it. But it's not just about building the perfect machine. It's also about developing the skills needed to succeed in a highly competitive environment. Members of Berkeley Formula Racing learn to work as a team, collaborate with others, and manage sophisticated projects under tight deadlines. So um, this is our dyno setup. This is essentially where we take our KTM 450 um, and tune it in a more controlled environment. Um, this was something that we built ourselves in-house. So that water break, um, we sourced. However, everything around it, pretty much from the ground up, was built by us. Um, we're looking at, to implement a new uh, load control system that's automatic. And yeah, this is our tuning software. We run a custom ECU, and this is pretty much how we get things dialed in for uh, more power. So the team is um, organized in a way that every member is on a subsystem, and that subsystem is responsible for certain aspects of the car. Um, so for example, the aerodynamics team is responsible for designing and manufacturing the wings and side pods of the car, and the drivetrain team is generally responsible for everything that rotates. Um, so every one of those subsystems has a lead or two um, that is responsible for ensuring that the design is uh, appropriate for fitting together everything else on the car, um, as well as making sure everything is on time to actually uh, fit on our first car on the ground date. However, despite their hard work and talent, the team is facing a major obstacle, a lack of funding from the university. We're starting to lock, lock horns a lot more often, um, which kind of sucks, because um, they, the school doesn't give us any money, and we pay rent for our space, even though this field station is technically on campus. Um, so we, we, don't necessarily feel that's right and uh, we're trying to talk to the right people about it um, but we don't seem to know who those people are and they don't like telling us who they are um, and recently some insurance things came up with our vehicles and they took our vehicles from us and so we can't we don't have a truck to tow this trailer we don't have our Ford Focus that was kindly donated to us by Ford a couple years ago because um, something with the insurance meant that we can't drive it so they're trying to figure out who to put the insurance under um, and until such time as they can do that no one's allowed to drive it um, and we've been feverishly reaching out to them to the lead center and the ASUC trying to coordinate something but they're like oh okay we'll figure it out in a few weeks and we're like we don't have a few weeks like we're testing this car this weekend you know we have competition in the middle of May we don't have time for this so that's probably the biggest you know battle that we're having with the university right now. We pay about $9,000 a year in rent for this facility here where we get two inches of standing water when it rains and we have floors in the bathrooms. Um, so the, the university um, doesn't help us out as much as they could considering that Formula SAE is the nation's premier mechanical engineering competition and that most other 
high level universities completely subsidize their Formula teams and they travel them around the country for events and they um, they do whatever they can because they want their university to look good at the nation's premier mechanical engineering competition. I feel like that makes pretty logical, basic sense. So, um, yeah, I, it's been it's been challenging to get the university as on board as we would like, but we do what we can. We always wear our gear when we're out, and um, we've been doing a damn good job. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Aston Yeh.